Hey everybody, Mike here with everything about concrete.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how we fasten our wood forms to concrete. So what we're doing is we're pouring a garage floor today. It's got three garage doors, so we're building one big form to go across all three doors. And we got to fasten these forms to the concrete so they don't come off. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm screwing the forms together. I find that using these deck screws with a drill driver is much better than using nails. We used to use 16D double headed nails to do this and the nails just don't hold as good as these screws So these screws are definitely the way to go when you're screwing your forms together. They're tight And then when you go to take them apart, it's much easier to take them apart And you can reuse those screws over and over again, too So that makes it really nice. So I'm getting this one big long form put together. It's about 36 feet long this is a three bay garage we're pouring today. Uh, the drops were pretty deep, that's why I'm using 2x12s. We like to set our forms right to grade too when we uh, pour garage floors. Like So those are two and a half inch deck screws I'm using. And the drill driver makes it, makes it real easy to install those screws. If you guys don't have one of those drill drivers, I definitely recommend getting one of them. There's links for all this stuff down in the description guys if you want to check them out. So now what I'm doing is I'm transferring the height of the concrete floor to the outside of the foundation. So when we fasten the forms to the concrete, we can set them right to grade. And then when we pour the concrete, we can just match the top of the wood form. So there's a couple ways I could do this. Obviously the, the one way I'm doing it right now is just using a little level. I have a chalk line snapped. You can kind of see the chalk line there, that red line. And I'm just using a level to transfer the, the grade to the outside. I could also use my laser. I could have set my laser up on the outside and marked it. Either way, works good. They're both easy. So right now I'm just transferring both sides of each door. Making sure. We like to set, again, like to set the forms right to grade. And then once we pour the floor and the concrete sets up a little bit, we taper these doorways out a little bit. So it just gives us something to go by. Now what we don't use to fasten forms is we don't use a ram set like this and shoot the nails on. Um, it's This is just more dangerous and half the time the nails don't hold very good, they're loose. And then when you go to strip them off, they leave a big hole. And then we also don't use a regular hammer and just a regular concrete nail either. Most of the time, the, the heads of the concrete nail will break off if you don't hit them perfect. And again, when you go to strip them off, they, they break the ends of the boards and they just leave a big hole in the concrete. So what we do use is we use this Bosch Extreme Bulldog Hammer Drill and with a masonry bit. And we drill these holes into the wall. And then we use a, we use a screw with the same drill driver a hex head Capcon screw and we just screw the forms right into the concrete and it holds them nice and tight so those forms aren't going to come off once you screw them on unlike a nail where a nail could come loose and pop out these screws just don't pop out so that's this is the easiest way i've found and, and it holds the best for securing you know these wood forms to concrete it's also pretty fast. I mean, if you got power on the job, then it's just simple to plug in. If you don't have power, then you could use a battery-operated hammer drill, or you could just use a generator, I guess. So we usually put one screw on top, one screw on bottom, on the side of each door, and then we've never had any problems with the forms coming off. As you can see how easy it is to drill that in there. You guys are just using one hand. So those are quarter inch Tapcon screws that are two and three quarter inches long. And the bit we're using is a 3 16th inch bit. You can get these Tapcon screws just about anywhere, any hardware store. Or you can get them right off Amazon if you want to have them shipped right to your home. This is the easiest way I've found to secure these forms, guys. I would definitely recommend, you know, if you're, if you're doing a lot of concrete, then this is the way to go, really. I've done it all different ways this is the best way I've found we'll also put a in the middle of these doors we'll put what we call a, a kicker or a brace 
to keep the middles of the form from bowling out. We'll use just a metal pin. You can see it laying on the ground and then one of those short 2x4s. That way those doorways stay nice and straight when we put that concrete against it. But that's how we fasten wood to concrete, guys. It's just Capcon screws, hammer drill, and again, if, if you want any of that stuff, the link's down in the description. If you haven't subscribed to this page yet, guys, this my channel. Go ahead and down there and hit subscribe now. And I'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching, guys.